Digital labor platforms like Uber and Upwork pose significant challenges to regulators worldwide. Often these companies choose to evade existing regulation, including national legislation, collective agreements, and they also evade unions. The question is what will happen in the Nordic countries, where most aspects of labor are regulated by collective agreements. Will companies voluntarily choose to engage in this collective bargaining model and negotiate agreements, or will they also choose to evade collective agreements? In this paper, we compare platform strategies of four selective platforms in Denmark and Sweden. More specifically, we compare Uber in Denmark and Uber in Sweden and two food delivery platforms, Fodora in Sweden and Just Eat in Denmark. Whereas Uber chose to evade collective bargaining in both Denmark and Sweden, the two food delivery platforms chose to negotiate sector-level agreements in both countries. The reason why these food delivery platforms chose to negotiate agreements and engage and integrate into the collective bargaining model was to gain competitive advantage. For them, it was a first mover advantage to be the first to negotiate sector level agreements for food delivery, set the sectoral norm and shape the market. This can be an early sign that we will, in fact, see a Nordic model involve in the platform economy. However, challenges still remain. Coverage by these collective agreements are less than full, and it seems very difficult to organize workers and unions even when they are covered by these agreements. Only time will tell if these early signs will de develop into a full Nordic model in the platform economy.